Hi, I'm going to talk to you today about what it looks like to integrate the faith and the arts. Um, this has been a real journey for me because God has spoken to me a lot through art and I've really struggled with what does it look like to integrate the, the faith into the church and what does it look like in my, in my own personal walk with God to express creativity and have it be an act of worship to the Lord. Um, a lot of Christians have struggled through this. A lot of non-Christians have struggled through this. Of why why isn't there art in the church? And this this original struggle started back when the Reformation happened. The Protestants believed that art should not be a part of the church. They believed that art was a distraction, that it was a form of idolatry, and they began to burn artwork, um, Christian and non-Christian artwork alike. Um, this really caused a division within the art community and the church community. And we see the ramifications of that in, in today's church. We see that we go into a church and the walls are blank. We see that there's not a lot of creativity happening during a service. And, and how often do you hear of a group of Christians going to an art gallery to see what God wants to speak to them through the artwork? That's just not a common thing that you, that you hear. Um, but I really believe that God wants to speak to us through the arts, that, that God is speaking to us through the arts. We just need to stop and listen. Um, consistently, I have met artists who have said, if they would accept me and accept my creativity, uh, then I would be excited about going to church. And that's just a real wounded place, and I believe God wants to heal that. Um, throughout history, we've seen that when there's been repentance, that revival has happened. And I really believe that God wants to revive this place um, in the church's life. And one of the ways that that's going to happen is as a church, if we come together and we repent for what we've done, the fact that we have burned artwork. It, it wasn't us, but it was our forefathers. And, and that we haven't embraced the arts within our own communities, that we've said it's this obscure thing, we don't quite get it, and it's meant for an art gallery, it's not meant for the church, God doesn't speak to us. And I just really don't believe that that's truth. I have seen where God has come in and to the most traditional elderly people and spoken to them through artwork when they were exposed to it in the sense that being reminded that God's the creator of all things that he created us to create and therefore he's called us to create things that will worship him that will be an act of worship to him not to worship those things like idols but to create things that will worship the Lord and I've seen it touch the life of little children as well I have I, I have story after story where I've seen lives touched through the arts and 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 faith and I, I believe that the Lord wants to see this happen more and more um, throughout the church, whether it's you know a traditional church or um, your emergent church. The, the liturgical churches have strangely been the first ones to be embracing it, and they're the ones that are considered the most traditional of them all. Uh, throughout history, we have seen that God loves to create. And we have seen that he loves it when his people create things to worship him. And it breaks his heart when people create things and worship those things. So I want to I want to draw a real fine line, uh, draw a real line there because a lot of people misunderstand and, and think that I'm saying that it's okay to create this artwork and hang it up on the walls and, and then, you know, view those things as a form of, of idolatry and to worship those things. Um, I've had a lot of pastors say to me that I don't want anything hanging on my walls because people will worship it and people will be distracted and people won't hear me. Um, and just to kind of come against those things, I, I, I've i seen in my own life, um, I, I have a ministry or I, I participate in a ministry that is called Art Worship and is, is what we do is we go, we go into churches and, and we go into discipleship meetings and we go into retreats and we give people the opportunity to create and we give them the opportunity to just express themselves. I don't care if you are talented at this, I don't care if you're a professional artist or you don't know how to draw a stick figure, you still can use it as an act of worship to God. Expressing what your journey is, expressing where you are, exp expressing what you believe about God. And um, and, and I've seen this touch people's lives. I, I, I had a young girl who was actually the pastor's kid of a church I went to for quite a while. And her and I were in the back of the service painting one Sunday. Uh, we would do this regularly. We'd put a tarp down, 
put canvases down, let people paint freely. And, and I asked her one day, I said, you know, Carrie, what do you think when you're painting? What are you hearing? You know, do you hear your dad teaching? Do you hear the worship? You just seem to be kind of focused. And she's like, actually, when I'm painting, I, I, I hear everything my dad's saying. After the service, I can go back and tell you verbatim what my dad said because I'm connecting with what he's saying it and then I'm expressing it through this artwork. She said, before this, I never heard a word my dad said. <laughs> never. And, and so it's not just a, a younger generational thing. I've also had elderly people come up to me and say, I, I didn't realize that God could speak to me. I didn't realize he could speak to me through art. And I'm so excited that this is a new journey in my life. Um, consistently, we have, we have believed that, that you have to be a Christian to create Christian artwork, or you have to be a non-Christian to create um, you know, non-Christian artwork, that, that non-Christians don't have the ability to create artwork that speaks of, of Jesus. And um, I, my husband and I were on our honeymoon, and we went into an art gallery, and there was this artwork that was incredible. The, the artwork was very, it was folk art, and it, 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 it was very um, remembrance of what I would imagine it would have looked like, or it will look like when the rapture happens. And I asked her, I said, you know, what, what was your inspiration for this? And she said, well, 9-11. And I asked her, are you a believer? And she didn't believe in Jesus. But these pictures depicted Jesus. These pictures depicted what it will look like when he comes back. It was amazing. And so I just, I, I really want to encourage people to really look at artwork differently and to really look at it through the eyes of we're created in the image of God and we're created to create. And even unbelievers have a story to tell and a lot of times that's a story that the Lord wants to tell. And, and they don't realize they're being used of the Lord. Um, I could go on and on about, about art and about creativity and about how God wants to speak to us through it. And I know at this point I haven't really followed the outline probably, but I, I'm, I'm more sharing my heart than the outline, which isn't the right thing to do, I know. So um, art and creativity, God wants to use it. God is using it. And I just really encourage people to go out there and ask their pastors, what do you think about art? Can we, can we have it in our church? What does it look like? for us to begin to bring that in so we can see restoration in that place in the church. Thanks for listening.